Hello friends, in this video I'm going to talk about my top 3 hacks that I used to get more interview calls for data analyst or media analyst positions. So if you're in for this, let's get into this right now. Hello friends, in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 3 hacks that got me more interview calls. But before I move ahead, if you're new to my channel, I would recommend subscribing to my channel because I'm going to be sharing my entire data journey with you. So let's get into this right now. My number one hack is selecting a good resume format and highlighting your experience in a logical manner. Now, what do I mean by explaining my experience in a logical manner? So, as a data analyst, you should be talking about in your experience that number one, how you extracted data, how you manipulated the data, how you visualize the data, and how did you create reports by doing your analysis. So if you're covering all these four points, that is a really good format. So whether if it's a professional experience, in your professional experience, I would recommend going in this format where you're explaining all these four points. So data extraction, data manipulation, data visualization, and reporting. My number two hack is talking about all the tools that you have used up till now. So this could be Number one would be your data visualization tool that you have used, your data manipulation or data extraction tools that you have used. So for data visualization, it could be like Google Studio or Tableau. Uh, these are some of the examples. For data manipulation, it could be on Excel or it could be on Google Sheets or it could be on a certain database that you're working on. So explain that. And for reporting, you can highlight that whether you created reports on PowerPoint or whether you were creating reports on some specific tool that you are using. And number three is what data sources you are pulling data from. So that could be in my specific example, I would use uh, like Google Analytics was one of the tools that I was extracting data from. Facebook Ads Manager was one of the tools that I was extracting data. Uh, Google AdWords was one of them. So highlighting all these tools get, uh, get you in with the right keywords. So when a recruiter is reading through your resume, they know exactly what you're talking about. And my last hack that worked best for me was explaining about how my experience or my value that I, the, the work that I did added value to my company. So one example could be that, hey, when I joined in, we had these many people working in our team, but within the time frame, or within a year or within two years, our team grew up by 400% or 200%. So using these numerical numbers, add credibility to your experience. So, or you can either explain that uh, one of the clients that I was working for, they increased their budget uh, for spend quarter over quarter, month over month or year over year by 100% or 200%. So just about using these credibility adding numbers adds a lot of value when a recruiter is going over your resume. Now remember that a, a recruiter only spends roughly 15 to 20 seconds going over your resume. So he would never be reading entire resume he's only going to go over it real fast and he's looking for those keywords if you hit those keywords you exponentially increase your chances for getting a interview call so guys these were my top three hacks that i've used i am attaching my resume down below uh, which is like a template format so you can use that and try for it and i can guarantee you that the number of calls that you would get on your applications 
would be much higher than your current format. So guys, these were my top three hacks. Now I am creating this series for data analysts and I would be covering literally everything that's there that a person needs to know who is either trying to be a data analyst or trying to get data analyst jobs. So subscribe to my channel and I would be putting up some links up there which would basically be uh, more or additional information that you need to know to become a good data analyst. So I'll see you on the other side.